if we can be trusted in work from home setup if no people are watching or supervising we can be trusted in bigger things even if people are not watching give a heads up to your colleagues to your counterparts if ever you will go somewhere or at least if they are expecting something from you just be clear up front that oh guys i can't communicate for two hours because i need to do a grocery run i need to get the ayuda from mayor or whatever diba sometimes tayo yung mga ally tayo yung pupunta sa grocery tayo pupunta doon of course it would be tough for us to respond to the email so please just communicate that and they will appreciate what you will do and all the more that can foster more trust and would help us to build that credibility now yes we are doing Zoom conference calls or maybe Google video calls, iba iba. But there are a lot of communications that we still do via emails, messenger, uh, workplace chat, marami yan. So, what we do, we just chat it. Nagko-compose tayo. And the thing is, because when we craft those messages, hindi nakikita yung emotions natin behind. And there's a tendency, sometimes in the emails, we get offended. Grabe naman to. Grabe to makapag-demand. Kala mo kung siya yung boss namin. Di ba may mga ganun sometimes in the text messages, ang dali mag-away kasi walang tono yung text. Eh. Di ba sa email. So I hope, eto ha, ah, I hope because marami tayong mga emails, messages, we don't get to see how they say it, how they say it in terms of their tone. Eto ha, ah, you need to remember this. This is important. Assume positive intent. Welcome to our rooftop reflections. As you all know, we are in our enhanced community quarantine and most of us, we are in our work from home setup. We asked the question earlier, what do you love about our work from home setup? So to some, walang masyadong ligo, okay lang. You don't need to take a bath before meeting someone. You have longer sleeps, you can take a nap, you can eat, you can wear whatever you want. Pwede ka magpambahay, you can wear shorts all the time. So there are different benefits in terms terms of when we do work from home yes there are some benefits but there will also be some downsides in terms of this work from home and this work from home setup that we have this is something that it's not just because it's happening in the Philippines but globally a lot of companies now they are accommodating work from home and because of this global pandemic most companies they are now forced to allow their employees to work from home because yun nga, nasa setup tayo of global pandemic, companies were forced now to allow people for work from home setup. So now, this work from home, it is now a new norm. And we've heard that itong mga work from home na to, it's been clamored by different people for years. It's been clamored that I know before in the Congress, it's being filed that it should be allowed at least once a week. So to some companies, they are open by it. To some, hindi pa. But now we are forced because of this global pandemic. And maybe to some people, uh, I've been talking about work from home, to some people who are probably watching, the setup that they have or the type of work that they have, hindi pwede mag work from home. And maybe because your setup is no work, no pay, yung company setup, hindi pwede na mag work from home because your work is outside home. So my prayers goes for you. Um, I pray for God's grace for you that in this time that you are at home in enhanced community quarantine, God will give you the grace, the wisdom so that you can pivot. You can also think of new ideas where you can generate more streams of income, not just what you have been expecting before, but probably in this new season, you can think of things where you could also think creatively and eventually help provide for yourself and also for your family. Because again, this work from home setup, it's not applicable to everyone, but we are in this together tulong tulong tayo for that and of course if there will there are people who are at home and the work from home setup is not applicable there are still people that even in this global pandemic they are still working not from home sila yung mga frontliners so maraming 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 salamat 
to the frontliners, thank you for the nurses, to the doctors, to the police officers, to barangay officials. Thank you that you are risking your lives and your family's lives for the betterment of our country. So guys, uh, this is a reminder for all of us. Please, let's do our part of staying home. Let's try to flatten the curve. If you see the news of our global neighbors, na fa-flatten na nila yung curve yung Vietnam and other countries yung sa Philippines there's a certain gain that's bigyan tataas ulit so please let's continue to pray and let's continue to stay at home and let's try to minimize going outside so for the frontliners uh, yes you're not working from home but we are grateful for you so if you are a frontliner we appreciate you kung may frontliner din kayo you can tag them so that we can honor them so thank you frontliners that even in this time you are working and whether you are a person who is a frontliner that you are still working or maybe you are the person who has work but can't work because your setup can't be allowed to work from home setup or if you are the type of person who is working from home regardless where you are in that spectrum work is a blessing we need to remember that work is still a blessing and we've talked about work because last week it was our labor day special you can also uh, check the video last week about the beauty or the benefit the blessing that we have because of work and how we can get the most out of that so work is a blessing and now this work from home setup so now in this work from home setup let's zoom in to people who are working from home so I hope that as you watch this video it could also uh, help you in some way so in this work from home setup this is somehow what we call a new normal for us so even even if our enhanced community quarantine will be lifted May 15 or it will be extended or eventually magiging GCQ tayo, this work from home setup would still be applicable. This is not just applicable because it's enhanced community quarantine. But probably some companies would already embrace the setup na kaya pala mag work from home. So this is something that we need to at least get the most out of it. So this is the new, the new norm. And speaking of new norm, and as we are learning this new terrain, new environment together, if you want to learn more about that new norm, comment below. I think that's a different video in itself. So that's a separate rooftop reflection. So comment below if you want to learn more about how we can learn and at least maximize or adapt in this new normal. So like what I've said, yung work from home before, it was not embraced, as much embraced by some companies, maybe because of the type of work, the nature, the industry, but now because of this global pandemic, uh, we are all forced to have our businesses to continue. If you, if you remember BCP business continuing uh, plan, mga ganyan. So probably most companies, they are not aware of the setup or they haven't planned na work from home almost everyone so they weren't able to buy the tools the laptops so at least we are we are you know, caught off guard but still it doesn't uh, mean that we can't make the most out of it so now this is now our setup we haven't planned about this nagkagulatan but the question like what i've said how can we make the most out of this work from home how can we make the most out of it so the question there is how to make work from home work. That's our rooftop reflections for today. How to make work from home work. So if you have friends who are working from home, please tag them, message them. Sana mapanood nila to. So if you have friends, colleagues that you think that this video would help them or maybe they are having some struggles in adjusting in this work from home setup, please tag them, comment so that they can watch this video as well. That is the heart why we do rooftop reflection. So at least even if we are at home, as much as I want to impart, as I want to help, I want to teach, I can't meet all all of you especially now I can't meet you physically and these videos would allow me at least to share whatever in my heart at least to help you guys to provide value so please please feel free to share tag your friends in this video and like what we always do or maybe baka it's been a new norm also for me now 
as we learn more how to make the most out of this work from home, how to make work from home work, we'll be having an acrostic. So somehow this is a new norm for me. Para napapadalas yung acrostic ko, yung acronym ko. And this is a exclusive, an exclusive rooftop reflections regarding work from home. Even if we search again in social media or in the algorithms of Google, you will not find this framework. So this is a rooftop reflection. So thank you for joining in live, but also for those who will catch this video later. I hope that this would also have some value to you. So let us start. So in this acronym, of course, we will start with the letter H. The acronym that we will use is HOME. Because it work from home. HOME. So letter H. So as we start in this acrostic, I hope okay kayo. And let's start. Letter H. So letter H is have a work mindset while at home. So that's letter H. Have a work mindset at home. So I have sub points for that. Yung letter A is to have a mindset of not having a vacation. Okay. That's what we need to remember. We are working from home. We are not having a vacation. Although seemingly maybe in the past, in the first few days of this work from home, parang feeling natin, yes, vacation, yes, naka-shorts, yes. Pero eventually, it's more than 50 days. I hope that our mindset in this work from home is that this is not a vacation. We are working. There's a lot to be done. Of course, it depends on the type of industry where you are in. It depends on the deliverables. It depends on the task that's assigned to you. But our mindset is in this work from home, very basic in the word in itself, our mind said is this is not a vacation so can you repeat that with me this is not a vacation this is not a vacation this is not a vacation and I'm not saying that because our mentality is this is not a vacation I'm not saying that we will not watch the Netflix shows that we want I'm watching a Netflix show it's The Last Dance by Michael Jordan. Nasa episode 4 pa lang ako. Hindi ko pa napapanood yung 5 and 6. Medyo busy pa ng konti. Busy, 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 busy han pa. So, I'm not saying that we won't watch the Netflix that we want, the K-drama that we want. But I hope hindi tayo binge all the time. Because we need to remember, this is not vacation, but this is work. So, that is the mindset. So, that's the first mindset. Mindset of not having a vacation. Second mindset. Mindset of getting things done. Mindset of getting getting things done. That's really important because yes, this is not a vacation but our mentality is I need to make things happen. I need to accomplish things. There are deliverables that I need to complete. What we will talk about here, it's not about you will take a bath, you will have set of clothes when you start work or you will have a specific corner in working. So we will not talk about that but we will talk more about the mindset because for me, that's more important, the mentality. That your mentality is this is not a vacation and I need to get things done. And maybe that word for you is similar. This is not the, the, the material of David Allen. Maybe we can talk about that getting things done, product productivity uh, video. Maybe we can talk about that in a different video but again a mental our mentality is we should get things done and the reason why i'm not focusing in terms of the methods on what to wear or dapat maligo ka or whatever because i'll give you an example diba there are times before uh, when we are doing some off-site work and especially if the task is important and urgent and so critical na so diba it really doesn't matter what type of clothes that we are wearing sometimes nga super naka long sleeves pa tayo but we're not we're we don't mind because we need to get the job done we need to finish the presentation and even when we are doing it off-site we are not that choosy especially if diba time is running out so we worked anywhere maybe at home in our sala in our bed maybe in starbucks in in whatever park or maybe in our friend's pad diba nagagawa naman natin yung trabaho so for me it's more on the mindset it's not about the methodology but again if those methods will help you to keep your mind uh start in thinking about those things then go ahead uh of course taking a bath is good kasi that's good hygiene so what works for you but what's important is the mindset so the mindset in letter H is first mindset of this is not a vacation second is mindset of getting things done and then the third mindset is mindset of 
mixing work and non-work. So the mindset that we should have is work and non-work. As I was trying to navigate this work from home, I was at first rigid na parang oh sige this is work time so wala masyadong non-work activity hindi focus lang pero in reality uh, it's kind of challenging because hindi ka mag-isa sa bahay buti if you are just all alone there are no disruptions there are no people okay lang but because you are with people who will talk to you there are some chores that you need to do so it's it's challenging so what I'm saying here is it's okay to mix at least for me it's okay to mix work and non-work so it's okay so you can ano kumbaga I hope that would lessen the burden to you na hindi dapat focus sa work in work time eh in this work from home setup it's challenging at least for me it's okay that you mix work and non-work in in your day especially again that's why we said earlier the mindset should be getting things done so that's what's important kasi mahirap kasi talaga especially you are at home so it's okay for me especially if you have the mindset of yung row i'm not sure if you have heard of it r o w e results only work environment so meaning that type of culture or practice in a company is they don't care how much time you finish your work they don't care on how you did it in what setup you are whether at home at work as long as you get the job done it's fine so that's why for me it's important at least it's okay that if you mix work and non-work so that's the mindset that we should have a mindset again for those who are just joining in we are doing an acrostic and we use an acrostic for letter H because letter H is have a work mindset while at home and mindset first mindset of not having a vacation this is not a vacation B mindset of getting things done and then third mindset of mixing work and not work so that's letter H in our acrostic in terms of how to make work from home work so are you now ready ready na ba kayo guys in terms of the second letter which is O so letter O is operate in trust while at home and I have two sub points for that first is be trustworthy meaning you should be the person who they can trust especially no one can see you your supervisor can't see you your colleagues can see you I hope that you would still be the same person that will be dependable that you will be the same person that will be reliable that you will be the same person that will go the extra mile because again what's happening in our nation this is unprecedented hindi natin alam there are a lot of uncertainties a lot of uncertainty so I hope that even in the midst of these uncertainties what is certain that you will be a person who will be dependable you will be trustworthy thank you even Cheryl Samson for uh, making a comment that there are studies that standard productive R for an employee is max 3 R the rest should be spent on minor things and I agree actually I also saw a study about the productive hours at least average 2.36 hours at least to some maybe to some 4 hours maybe to some 5 hours ito si Cheryl alam ko productive hours per day na to 10 hours eh. iba talaga uh, that's why uh, we are happy for you Ia Martin thank you for watching as well so that's sa letter O that we should operate on trust and the first sub point should be that we should be trustworthy and the, the good thing if we are trustworthy we are doing what needs to be done if we are being faithful what's entrusted to us I remember a very wise line and a very um, something that helped me it says he who is faithful with little will be faithful with much so if we are if we can be entrusted in li little things, we can be entrusted in more things. So if we apply it, if we can be trusted in work from home setup, if no people are watching or supervising, we can be trusted in bigger things, even if people are not watching. So stewardship din yan. And I like what Eco mentioned, best doubt to work during our peak performance hours. Basta output based with clear expectations. That's true. Because again, in this work from home, uh, magsasama yung mix, work, non-work, but what's important is you get the job done. Especially, clear ang expectations. So, kung hindi yung clear expectations, talk to your boss and ask 
ano yung inexpect sa yung letter O natin for those who are just joining in we made an acrostic how to make work from home work so we are now letter O operate on trust while at home and the first sub point is be trustworthy and as we are being trustworthy you will still be the person who will be dependable so what's also important ito ah important to yes you are trustworthy but it doesn't mean again that you won't do non-work in the normal hours of the day because ito yung importante lang at least importante lang please 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 give a heads up to your colleagues to your counterparts if ever you will go somewhere or at least if they are expecting something from you just be clear up front na, oh guys i can't communicate for two hours because i need to do a grocery run i need to get the ayuda from mayor or whatever diba sometimes tayo yung mga ally tayo yung pupunta sa grocery tayo pupunta doon of course it would be tough for us to respond to the email so please just communicate that and they will appreciate what you will do and all the more that can foster more trust and would help us to build that credibility so yung sa letter o if what I said is diba, we need to operate on trust while at home, sub point is be trustworthy. The second sub point, be trusting. If A is you are trustworthy, be trustworthy. Yung B is be trusting. You are the person naman who would give trust. Thank you, Larry Uy, for also trusting me. Love you, bro. You know, pero yun ya. So, we should be people, we should be people who would give trust. Especially if maybe you are a team lead, you don't see people, or maybe in your colleagues you don't see them. I hope that we trust them. And especially if there are times that we sent a message, we did an email, at hindi sila nagre respond, let's assume na baka they are doing other work stuff. At wag natin isipin na ah, tamad naman, nag Netflix naman yan. So let's assume na they are doing other productive things. Wag naman natin isipin na nag ano lang sila, nag drama lang sila or kung ano man ginawa nila. So we need to assume that they are, yun nga, that they are just doing other things. So we need to be trusting. Dapat maging trusting tayo. Hindi natin sila nakikita. And maybe, if at least maybe because they are not really replying as fast as you want maybe may pinagdadaanan din sila maybe this is a time where you can ask them how are they because this work from home it's not easy at least iba iba yung ways of people to cope not everyone would be like you na magaling mag cope in this work from home in this uncertainty so hindi lahat magaling mag cope in a changing atmosphere in a changing setup so maybe that's also a signal na baka na challenge na sa work maybe that is the time where and you can talk to that person na bro kumusta ka na anything that i can i can help you with so that's already a signal in itself so yun nga so we need to be trusting that we should assume na baka naman busy lang sila. And ito ah, kasi di ba, we are doing work from home. One thing in terms of be trusting, isa pa, one thing is that because di ba most of the time we are not meeting physically, yes, we do Zoom calls. Sino dito mga nag-Zoom calls? Uh, mga hashtag Zoomies. And now, yes, we are doing Zoom conference calls or maybe Google video calls, iba-iba. But there are a lot of communications that we still do via emails, messenger, uh, workplace chat, marami yan. So, what we do, we just chat it. Nagko-compose tayo. And the thing is, because when we craft those messages, hindi nakikita yung emotions natin behind. And there's a tendency, sometimes in the emails, we get offended. Grabe naman to. Grabe to makapag-demand. Kala mo kung siya yung boss namin. Di ba may mga ganun sometimes in the text messages, ang dali mag-away kasi walang tono yung text. Eh. Di ba sa email. So, I hope, eto ha, ah, I hope because marami tayong mga emails, messages, we don't get to see how they say it, how they say it in terms of their tone. Eto ha, ah, you need to remember this. This is important. Assume positive intent. I'll repeat it. Assume positive intent. Meaning that even if you feel like grabe naman yung pag-compose niya sa email, ang harsh, ang demanding, assume positive intent na baka naisip mo lang na ganun yung pagkasabi but it's really not the way that person wants to say it. So, <clears throat> talk to that person. Uh, call him na ganun ba yung ibig niya sabihin tapos pag tinawagan mo ay, ay simple lang pala it's not how you 
imagine kasi nga, di ba, in the emails, in the text messages, walang emotions. Eh. So, please assume positive intent. So, ito, kasi nakaka-offend eh. I, I remember one of our pastors in our church, he said, if you did not clarify, you have no right to be offended. So, kumbaga, wag ka muna ma-offend, clarify it first. So, if you have read that uh, email, if you have read that message and somehow it's offending, wag ka muna ma-offend. Clarify, ask, call, video call, assume positive intent. One practical tip, especially because now we are doing uh, emails, messages, ito ah, what would help is that Lagyan mo ng emojis ang iyong mga messages. Emojis! Put emojis! He, 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 ha, 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 or whatever emoji, or yung tumatawa na isang mata lang, or whatever. Of course, it depends again in the type of setup that you have in a company, in the co- corporate culture that you have. Maybe it can be perceived as something that's unprofessional, but again, then again, you need to navigate it. Basta the goal when you communicate, make sure at least if ikaw yung nagsisend, Sana naman hindi siya magiging the thing na offending. Of course, sometimes in business mode, professional work, objectivity. But again, bottom line, let's assume positive intents. Avelyn Valle, you cannot go wrong with emojis. Thank God to emojis, Angel de la Flor, when na si Adriano, don't put a tone sa message sa pag binabas. Again, it works different ways, no? Pwedeng it can be offending. Pero to some, uy, nakakakilig naman. Eh, yung pala, wala palang meaning. So, yung baga, kumbaga, let's clarify. Assume positive intent. Okay, Edwin Buenaventura, agree, emoji helps. So, for those of you who are joining us just now, so what we are doing in our rooftop reflections is how to make work from home work and we are doing an acrostic. We did the word home and then yung sa H, have a work mindset while at home. And then letter O is operate in trust while at home. And we have sub points to that, be trustworthy and be trusting. So now we will now go to letter M. I hope ready na kayo. Letter M na tayo in this acrostic, make a system while at home. Make a system while at home. And I have five sub points for this. Actually, marami pa akong pwedeng sabihin, pero five na lang. Masyadong dumadami. So, letter A for our acrostic of letter M, make a system to start and end the day. That's important. Make a system to start and end the day. Because in this work from home setup, the lines have been blurred in terms of working and not working. So tama ka, Paul, and dicho clarity is better than assumption. Clarify. So we need to make a system that we will establish, oops, we are starting to work and then we are now ending at work. Because before in our pre-ECQ, Meron tayong mga routines before. Ano ba yung mga routines ninyo before working? Comment it below. Uh, before trying to work dati. Uh, magtimpla ng kape, to read a newspaper, and then eventually after doing your morning routine, you will now go commute or drive ka. And then somehow, in that travel time, it already conditions your mind that your brain is now at least ready to work. So, what we need to do because now we are now we are still at home and we are not going commute. So because now we are at home, we can commute. So yung system, the routine is somehow nawala. But what we can do while we are still working from home, we establish a system, a routine that mimics that, that it ha- it somehow prepares our mind na work mode na. Maybe to some of you before you start your work every day is Maybe ano, coffee first, katulad ni Anshing. Or maybe, mag-inom ka ng green tea. Or maybe to some, you will watch videos, Trevor Noah. Or maybe to some, what you will do, you will watch anime. Maybe to some of you, before you start your work day, maglaro ka ng Mobile Legends, whatever. Or you should train your brain that, alam mo, na when you are done with that, it's time to work. And that's important. That's important. So, it's not just you will establish a system as you start your day, but it's also important to start a system that you will end your day. Because again, the challenge is just the blurred lines of working and non-working. And it's really important, especially, that you establish the end of day. Because 
especially because the mindset that we have including me is parang eh nasa bahay lang naman yan eh sige email mo lang yan send mo lang yan so di ba yan yung mindset natin eh send mo lang yan nasa bahay lahat naman tayo walang ginagawa di ba although busy naman talaga so what we need to do is to establish a routine that matatapos na yung trabaho natin maybe it's shutting off all work related apps or maybe logging off I don't know or maybe setting aside your Mac or your laptop kasi that's important eh. because although again maybe to some of us it's more challenging kasi even if tapos na yung work work ang dami pa na nag email ang dami pa na nag message that's a challenge and ako I think this material is also for me kasi even if gabi na nag message pa rin ako so to my colleagues um, I really I'm really sorry sometimes nag nag late and I'm sending my videos late. Sorry, Justin, I love you bro. Thank you for bearing with me kung nasisend ko yung mga videos na late. Pero yun nga, what's important is, of course, ayoko naman gawin excuse. Eh, we get the things done. Marami talaga ang trabaho. Hindi, pero there are better ways on how to be more efficient and productive. So, going back. So, we need to establish yung day or a rhythm, a system na mag end of day na. Kasi kung hindi, magtutuloy-tuloy yung work eh. And ito ah, you need to take note of this. Eventually, because we feel like it's just constant work, tuloy-tuloy yung work, hindi natatapos yung work, nag email pa rin ng 10pm, 11pm, tuloy-tuloy lang, you know what will happen? It will take a toll and eventually it will lead to restlessness and eventually it can lead to burnout. Burnout. So, it's not much being talked about it but tignan nyo, in the coming months there will be propping of some issues kasi ano eh, because of people thinking eh, nasa bahay naman yan eh, dahil walang end date or end time in the day so it would lead to burnout and speaking of burnout I think that's a different video in itself so comment below if you want to know and learn more about those things so let's learn together so kaya it's important for us to have a rhythm a routine na mag end of day na tayo so that is yung sa letter M make a system while at home so that's the first sub point make a system that you are start and end of the day make a system to start and end the day so Arnel Civil I don't know about you but I notice I can accomplish more things kapag hindi ko makita ang hindi ko makita ang phone ko true so iba-iba yan kasi the phone can be good for you but sometimes it cannot be good for you especially if notifications are popping and daming disruptions that's why we talked about in our previous rooftop reflections in terms of focus for those of you you want to see that video I can maybe comment the link so totoo yun yung cellphone kasi super ano eh super distracting Iko Gonzalez if I think of something especially after work hours and I message my team I indicate that they don't have to reply so tama yun so, kung may naisip ka na sobrang importante and baka makalimutan mo, just message them that they don't need to reply. So, yun nga rin pala yung nagagawa ko dati pero minsan nakakalimutan ko. So, yun. The next system is make a system to plan activities. During the day, so, actually it's best practice as you start your week, maybe that's a Monday or maybe that's a Tuesday or maybe that's a Sunday. Hi, Body Cruise. So, what you need to do is to plan a system to put your activities. So, what's ideal nga is you plan for the whole week and then naka break down Monday, Tuesday ko na yung gagawin mo pero we can do baby steps at least uh, per day so as we zoom in per day what we need to do we should not just put activities plan activities the work stuff but we should also put the non-work stuff again because we are in the setup of work from home may mga talagang nakikita kang chores or maybe laundry or nakita mo yung room it's untidy nako it would be tempting for you to see it there's what we call productively procrastination meaning naayos ko naman yung kwarto eh na organize ko naman yung cabinet ko pero yes you have done those things but you did not do what you need to do in your work that's why my suggestion is to make a system for work and non-work activities. Para at least hindi ka na didisrupt. Kasi pag nakita mo, ay ang gulo ng sina gagawin mo. Sino ba yung ganun? May ganun ba kayo na parang nakita mo? Nako, parang hindi pantay yung ano ah, yung, yung framing. Aayusin mo. <clears throat> Tapos after a while, inaayos mo na, binabaytad mo na yung bed. So, it, it disrupts momentum and kinakain yung work time natin. So, again, make a system to plan activities. That is letter B. So, yung letter C is make a system that rewards work. 
make a system that rewards work. So meaning, if you have accomplished the task that you have written at kung nagawa mo, you can reward yourself. Maybe with a chocolate, maybe with milk tea, or whatever that would satisfy your craving or comfort food or comfort drink. And that would also shield us from eating and eating and eating na walang bukas. Kasi di ba ganun tayo? Because wala tayong gagawin. O sige, maka-chocolate na. O sige, kainin ko nga yung chocolate sa bahay. O sige, kainin ko yung cupcake. So, di ba, we need to social distance sa ref natin. Hindi yung kain ng kain. And for me, that's a new concept that I've actually discovered just now because I was preparing for this rooftop reflection that we need to make a system that would reward work kung nagawa natin. Para at least hindi tayo kain ng kain. Kakainin lang natin pag nagawa natin yung trabaho. So we need to establish a system because we have done the work. And then letter D is make a system that includes break. So as we have talked about that we will make a system that would include the tasks that we need to do and even the non-work that we need to do, I hope that when we make a system, we should also include breaks because we need to incorporate rest. And if you remember in our video, the focus video is we need to also apply, if it works for you, yung Pomodoro Technique. 25 minutes of non-stop focus work and then 5 minutes of break. If we need high performance behavior, we need to have occasional breaks. Kasi what will happen? Work, 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 work. Tapos boom! Eventually, we will crash. Kasi eventually, hindi nakakayanan ng body natin. Yung extra jaws, it will only go as so far. Lipovit, Lipovitan, Red Bull, coffee or whatever. Importante pa rin yung, yung break. So it's important that we include breaks. It's important. And speaking of breaks, speaking of rests, uh, that's really important. And that's a different video in itself maybe. Uh, maybe in the coming weeks that we will talk about rest. The rest and the break that I'm talking about, kung na, kung na yung pomodoro ko in 5 minutes or whatever break, I hope these are not just breaks so that you can check your Facebook so that you can check your Instagram or whatever. I hope that when you take breaks, it's legit breaks that you are standing up, that you are walking around your house, that you are stretching, or kung pwede, you can go outside the house but inside the gate, inside the gate, so pwede pa rin. or maybe just observe the cloud. So I'm excited. Ito, seryoso. After this video, uh, Every, ano kasi mga around 6 o'clock, it's time for me to take a break and see the clouds. Hashtag look up, it's 6 o'clock. And enjoy the beauty of creation. Enjoy the magnificent creation of God. So as you are including breaks in that system, that's really important. Not just FB breaks, social media breaks, but legit breaks that you would stretch and you can walk around. So, yung letter E is make a system. Ito, this is important especially for those people that you are not alone sa mga bahay nyo, na may roommates kayo, may housemates kayo, may lolo kayo, may senior citizen kayo, may magulang kayo na magtatanong paano gamitin, mag-send sa ganitong cellphone. Di ba, may marami yung tanong yan eh. So, yung last system, at least yung sub-point sa system natin, make a system that would tell other people that you are working. Make a system to let people know you are working. So, especially if what you need to do is you need to concentrate or if you are meetings, you have Zoom meetings, so it's important to minimize the disruptions, minimize the noise, especially if you're doing videos, tell the people in your home that you will be doing a video at please, wag la mo nang lalabas. Oh, hi, hi, Nylor Zitor. That's true, have a break. So, especially I'm doing videos, I'm sending it so that I can send it to Victory Makati and minsan ang hirap mag-send ng video ang daming disruptions pero minsan kakatok maraming tatanungin so I tell them as I do those videos please wala mo nang lalabas ng kwarto mag-CR na uminom na at walang maingay kasi di ba yun nga eh you should let them know that you are already working or maybe to some it can be as, as subtle you can tell to the people around you if you put your earphones, your headphones, it signifies that you're already working. Sana wala masyadong tanong habang linalagay yung earphones. So, at least they should know. And para at least, of course, ito nga yung blessing ng Enhanced Community Quarantine that you have bonding time uh, moments with your family. But I hope that when you work, especially if you are in the momentum of working or if you have a meeting, so I hope that could be clarified to the people around you. So, we are already 
letter M in terms of making a system. And for those of you who are joining, we did an acrostic of home, H-O-M-E, on how to make work from home work. So yung H is we have a work mindset while at work. And then yung O is yung operate in trust while at home. So yung M naman, make a system while at home. And yung mga sub points sa system natin, make a system while at home, is first sub point is make a system to start and end of the day. So kasi nag-blur yung lines. And then B, make a system to plan activities. So as we plan, it should not just be work activities, but even non-work activities. And then C, sa making a system, is make a system that rewards work. So so that you will not binge every, th every time you see that chocolate or that drink. So make a system that rewards work. And then D, make a system that includes break. That in the working time or in the day, it's making sure that you are having enough break. And then E, make a system to let people know that you are working. So that is the system. And then now we go to the last letter is E. So I hope you are ready as we are coming to a close. So yung letter E is experiment what works while at home. Experiment what works while at home. Because what I've talked about, I've said a lot of things. I've said a lot of mindset. I've said a lot of some methods that you can do, some systems that you can do. But please experiment because to each his own. It doesn't mean it worked for me, it will work for you. That's why you need to experiment. Experiment on the things that I have suggested. Uh, you can also learn from different materials, from different videos and incorporate, experiment, see what works, trial and error. You will not know if you will not try. But, pero at least you are doing things so that you can be more productive. So experiment what works while at home. So what's important naman is you are getting things done. That you are able to hit the deliverables, you can still be dependent. So as we wrap this up in this rooftop reflections, so how to make work from home work. So just a recap, we made an acrostic. So letter H, have a work mindset while at work. And we have sub points for letter H, mindset that this is not a vacation, that this is not a summer break, that this is not a Christmas break. So that should be our first mindset. The second mindset, mindset of getting things done, that we need to do whatever it takes. Like for me, um, because I have bad internet, seryoso to, what I did, because hindi pa umabot yung converge Wi-Fi at home, naabutan ng enhanced community quarantine, I ordered a prepaid home globe Wi-Fi. It's adequate it's enough but if you are sending 5 gig 4 gig videos to be edited that would take a long time so thank god to my gracious neighbor so nakiki wifi ako seryoso nakiki wifi ako and thank you for my good neighbors thank you tita rose thank you carl for the wifi so kasi yun nga eh hindi naman excuse so but we need to have that mindset to get things done and then another mindset in letter H is the mindset of mixing work and non-work and for me it's okay to mix it as long as you get the job done and then when you do non-work and if people are expecting you something or you will do something so what you need to do is just communicate that you will just go out you can uh, respond because maybe you will do a grocery run so that's letter H so now we go to O and it's operate in trust while at home so we have two sub points to that is to be trustworthy that you are the person who is dependable you are the person who would be reliable that even in these uncertain times what's certain is they can count on you and then the second sub point is be trusting of course you don't see people you don't see how they work let's be trusting and sometimes if you feel like they are lagging in work that's a cue for us na kamustayin natin sila baka they are also adjusting they haven't embraced yet the work from home they haven't got the grasp of it so be trusting and also especially most of the time we will communicate via emails via text message via work chat and sometimes the yung mga message it can be offending it can be demanding so let's not be offended but let's clarify the heart behind it kasi walang tono yung mga text walang tono yung mga email so what we need to remember assume positive intent Wag natin pag-isipan na inaway tayo. Wag natin isipin na uh, binabash tayo. Assume positive intent. 
we are in this together. So that's for letter O. And then yung M is make a system while at home. Make a system while at home. And we have sub five points to that. Make a system that will start and end the day. And then B, make a system to plan activities. So plan activities, not just work activities, but also non-work activities. And C, make a system that rewards work. So that hindi ka kain ng kain. That you will just reward yourself every time you did the activity. And then D, make a system that includes break. So it's important that you also plan it that even if, even if that tuloy-tuloy yung work, sana ma-incorporate yung mga breaks. And then the breaks that I'm talking about here is not just uh, social media break that you can check the, the feeds but you can actually do legit breaks stand up stare the sun excited ako dyan. and also letter D is make a system to let people know that you are working so that there will be expectations so that there will be minor interruptions at least the interruptions will be minimized so and then letter E is because I've shared a lot of things is experiment what works while at home experiment what works while at home so it doesn't mean I said it it will work for you so please do experiment so to recap your HOME is have a work mindset while at home letter O operate in trust while at home and then M make a system while at home and then E experiment what works while at home and again what we are experiencing in this enhanced community quarantine it's really tough it's really unprecedented to some we are still navigating this new setup and it's challenging for us uh, there are speed bumps along the way challenges in the Wi-Fi our HR they are still figuring out how we can be most productive in all of these things even in these uncertain times what's important is we are in this together we are in this together. Tulong tulong tayo dito. So that's our rooftop reflections how to make the work from home work. So if you know some people who will benefit from this video, tag them, message them, send them this video. So I hope you got something from this. Maraming salamat for joining in our rooftop reflections. What to do in this enhanced community quarantine. Of course, it is work from home and we need to make the most out of it. Yes, there will be speed bumps along the way, but we are in this together. Like and share. Maraming salamat. God bless you guys. Okay guys, so we just ended that session in terms of working from home. So any takeaways, any comments, what have you learned? So I hope it gave some value to you. So, ano guys, what are the things na nag-resonate sa inyo or in those letters na H-O-M-E, ano yung pinaka nag-resonate? I hope this video helps and because ma majority of us nasa work from home. Mana Tolentino, thank you for watching. To some, you are frontliners. Maraming salamat for what you are doing. We are praying for you. We want to, to stand the gap with you. We are uh, rallying behind you. So to the frontliners, thank you. We pray for protection as well to your families and to you. Good health. And for those people who are at home but they are not working from home, I pray that God will give you the grace for provision that you need to remember that God is our ultimate source, that you need to remember that you are not alone in this, that this will be an opportunity maybe so that you can pivot. This is an opportunity wherein that you can have additional streams of income because it doesn't mean that that was the source of your livelihood before. That will be your source of livelihood now. So maybe this is a tipping point for you. So my hope and my prayer that God will give you the wisdom to navigate <coughs> this new season. So eco change of perspective dapat. In a way, I'm grateful for this. Forced trials at telecommuting. It generally works now. Now we need to refine and realign plans and processes. So tama yun, no? So we need to experiment what works. So again, whatever I said, to each his own. It doesn't mean it works for me, it will work for you. So, what else? What have we learned? Or do you have any more questions? So, kasi magagabi na, baka hindi nyo na ako makita and I'm excited to hashtag look up at 6 o'clock and be in awe to the nature, the creation that God made. 
for us to enjoy. I hope guys you also enjoy the simple things in life. Katulad ng mga sunset. Actually excited nga ako every 6 o'clock eh. Kasi it's a new thing every day. So yun yung mamimiss ko rin. Edwin Buenaventura sa akin. We trust him because you don't see them. You don't know what they are into. So yun nga. Um, we don't know what they are into. But we should not tolerate naman kung may perennial na hindi nagagawa na activity or na, na task. So, kamustahin natin sila pero I hope hindi yung puro oh, gawin mo yung trabaho. Pero kamustahin natin sila. Ask them how are they. So, we can also extend a helping hand and also, yun nga, let's be trusting but also not tolerating kung nagtatamad-tamaran sila or they're not doing their best. So, again, this is stewardship when we work. We need to remember, he who is faithful with little will always be faithful with much. He who is faithful in work from home setup will be faithful in work from home setup with more responsibility. So, tiba, ito pa yung opportunity mo, baka ma-promote ka. Zain Su, make a system. Minsan, sa daming gustong gawin, nawawala sa isip yung iba pa. Yes, that's true. That's why we need to make a system not just work-related but also non-work-related. Kasi, if yung task list natin, to-do list lang natin, is yung work, tapos biglang paglingon natin, ay, ang, ang kalat ng kusina. So, ikaw, Sometimes you are compared na ko, ayusin ko tong kusina, mag aayusin mo na, ayusin mo yung mga plato. So eventually nakalimutan mo na yung gagawin mo. That's why when you make a system, you plan activities both for work and non-work. So that's our rooftop reflection. So also if you know any topics that you want us to discuss here, so please let me know. So I'm thinking of discussing a topic about new normal pero mag-comment pa kayo. Let me know what are the things that you want us to learn in this Enhanced community quarantine in this rooftop reflections. And now, nagagabi na. Baka hindi nyo na ako makita. So please don't forget to like the video, to share the video to your friends, especially those people who you think na itong video na to would be of value to them, who would help them. Itong video that would help them. So maraming salamat. Kathy, thank you for joining. We'll view this again. O nga, latecomer, okay lang yan. So maraming salamat, guys. Mag-hashtag lookups. It's 6 o'clock na ako. Thank you. Bye.